Hi guys, it's me Tazar HD and welcome to this incident analysis for the 2019 Italian Grand Prix. Now the first thing we're going to look at is of course the main uh, part of controversy from the race and that is Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton the close racing into the second chicane and whether Charles Leclerc did uh, squeeze Lewis unfairly almost off the circuit at the point of the entry to the chicane and of course Lewis went off the circuit and what I'm going to do is illustrate why, in my opinion, Charles Leclerc should have got a penalty, only a five-second penalty, for what he did um, against Lewis Hamilton. So you can see here, Lewis is right on the slipstream after Lewis got a great run out of the first chicane, the Retifilio chicane. And then at this point, they are side-by-side side going down into the second chicane. But at this point... Lewis Hamilton has, and I'll show another picture later on that really does prove this, Lewis Hamilton has half of his car alongside Charles Leclerc. I don't care who you are, in racing, if you have half of your car alongside another driver, you are entitled to space on the track. I don't care if you're Lewis Hamilton or some, you know, awful driver in Formula 2 or Formula 3, it doesn't matter. You deserve space if you have at least half of your car alongside. Lewis did, but Charles Leclerc did not give him space and did not give him a car's width to go through the corner, meaning that he got squeezed up against the curb. And then, of course, Lewis Hamilton had to, because he had momentarily lost control, he had to go down the escape road because if he tried to make the corner, he would have bumped over the uh, sleeping policeman um, and the orange curbs on the entry to the chicane and would have probably, maybe not damaged his car, but he would have risked, you know, damaging his car. And of course, then he came out behind Charles Leclerc. Now, again, he had half of his car alongside. He does deserve space. But when it comes to what Charles did, there is precedent for this happening at this circuit into a chicane and that came last year at the 2018 Italian Grand Prix now Max Verstappen got a penalty for this a five second time penalty for uh, forcing Bottas off the track or you know dangerously moving across he got a five second time penalty that's what the FIA gave him that day please tell me how this is massively different between what you know Max did and what Charles Leclerc did if this is a five time if this is a five second time penalty, sorry, then why isn't what Charles Leclerc did a five second time penalty? I'm sorry, it is. This is actually better than what Charles Leclerc did. I think what Charles did was actually slightly more dangerous than what Max did. And this picture really does showcase Lewis did deserve more space. He has his front left wheel. In about the middle of Charles Leclerc's car. If you have that alongside someone's car. Then the other driver has got to leave you a car's width and room to get through the corner. I'm not saying Charles Leclerc should let Lewis Hamilton through. That's not what I'm saying. I love hard racing. But you can't just come across and force someone to go off the circuit. You can't do that. Because that is dangerous driving. And you really are risking a crash happening. Of course they did give him a black and white flag. Which for me is weak. It really is weak. Again considering that Max the year before got a penalty for basically the same thing. And I think they should have given him the same punishment. Because it was basically the same incident. But guys. We know why Charles Leclerc did not get a penalty. Because he's driving a Ferrari. And he was driving a Ferrari at the Italian Grand Prix. You guys may think I'm being a massive conspiracy theorist. But that is the case. That's why... I think they did not give him a penalty because what good reason do they have to not give him a penalty? I don't see a good reason or a real reason why they did not give him a penalty. And for me, the only reason why is because they did not have the bottle to make a big decision. And as far as I'm concerned, if you're an FIA steward, if you don't have the bottle to make a big decision, then don't be a steward in the first place. As the saying goes, if you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen and for me the stewards did bottle this decision for me it was a clear penalty of course it's my opinion let me know in the comments what you think but for me in my opinion it was a penalty
But now let's move on from that and go on to another incident in the Italian Grand Prix. And let's look at Sebastian Vettel spinning and how his spin caused absolute madness at Ascari on lap 7. So you can see here Sebastian Vettel has just come into the Ascari chicane and his car is already starting to spin. And if we now come to this front nose cam of Sebastian Vettel, now we can really see why he did start to spin from the previous picture we showed. So here is the nose cam. And if we move on to this picture, the reason Sebastian spun was simply because he was trying too hard. He clumped the inside curve of the entry to the Ascari chicane too hard and applied the throttle too early, meaning that he, of course, spun around the car. Now, why Sebastian Vettel got the penalty is pretty simple, and Sebastian does have to be criticised for two things. One, for bottling it and spinning so early on, and he was clearly trying way too hard to get after Valtteri Bottas in the Mercedes. Um, but really, his spatial awareness and his awareness of what was going on was so poor when it came to this. So you can see there the two Renaults, they are coming through. And then as he now starts to come onto the track, you can see Lance Stroll is right there. Now, if Sebastian actually looks to see what's around him, he would have seen that Lance was there, but he didn't look. He saw the two Renaults go past and decided no matter what, he was going to get back onto the track and come back out of this Ascari chicane. And of course, that caused the contact of Lance Stroll. Now, Again, Sebastian has to be more aware of what is around him because you can't just drive out in the middle of this chicane, which is only fit really for one car at a time. You can't just drive into the middle of it and expect people to somehow get out of your way. What Sebastian should have done if he actually looked and was more aware of what was going on is wait until there was enough space between, say, one car and another to get back out onto the track but he didn't do that he panicked got back out on track too quickly and caused Lance Stroll of course to spin but the reason Lance got a penalty is pretty simple because he also did the same thing as Sebastian Vettel so you can see here Pierre Gasly is coming up to Lance Stroll and Lance for some reason thinks he can actually get away out of this spot and get ahead of Gasly or at least get going again without causing a crash. But Pierre Gasly is approaching him so quickly that there's no way Lance was going to be able to get out and not cause Gasly to either crash into him or go into the gravel trap. So also Lance was at fault for you know causing Gasly to go into the gravel and Sebastian and Lance's penalties were absolutely deserved. But Sebastian Vettel absolutely caused this incredible melee of events and it's his fault. It's his fault. He should have been more aware that there were actually cars behind him racing. I mean, is he that egotistical that he thinks that the other cars are that far behind? He can just pull onto the racetrack and get going again with no cars around him. It was only lap seven. I know he's in a much faster car, but the other cars are not that slow. So he has to be more aware in my opinion. But guys, that is it for the incident analysis today. Let me know in the comments section, what do you think about what I've said? And please share your opinion. And please don't share your opinion in an insulting way because I'm just going to remove your comment. Because if you can't debate or share your opinion without insulting someone, then you must be a child. Also, I know people have brought this up in the past that I do show still pictures. I just want to clarify, I do that because I cannot show live video clips because then I'd be breaking copyright law. So that's the reason I don't do it. If I could do it, I would of course do it, but I can't, so I'm not going to. Just to clarify those two things. But yeah, comment down below what you think. And also don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I'll be back on Thursday with an F1 driver rating video rating the drivers and how they did at Spa and the Italian Grand Prix as well. And until then, guys, it has been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.